Does Modern Warfare 2 have what it takes to answer the call of duty, or will it fail and get a dishonorable discharge? Modern Warfare 2 was released worldwide on November 10th, 2009. It was developed by Infinity Ward and produced by Activision. It is the sixth game in the Call of Duty franchise and the second game in the Modern Warfare series. Within 24 hours of its release, approximately 4.7 million copies were sold, making it one of the best selling games of all time and also the fastest selling game of all time. The concept of Modern Warfare 2 is simple. It's a first person shooter and it's designed to make a lot of money. Since it's the sequel to Call of Duty 4, it uses a similar game engine to that of its predecessor and has the same run and gun style and feel. The terrain elements in the single player levels and the multiplayer maps vary, but range from arid deserts to snowy environments to even urban settings. This is nice because we basically get a lot of the same in Modern Warfare. And in this second installment, we see a lot more variety. The guns are done to scale visually and are very balanced out. Overall, it has a realistic feel and yet still has this arcadey style that the Call of Duty franchise is best known for. However, it's a bit disappointing because it feels a bit too similar to Call of Duty games and other than some improvements, feels like the exact same thing as Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Call of Duty in general. So basically, the overall concept of Modern Warfare 2 is to take what Modern Warfare did correctly and add a lot more stuff to it to make it better. The graphics for Modern Warfare 2 are excellent. The game is vastly detailed and is different for every setting. Anywhere from the urban environments of Brazil, to the deserts in Afghanistan, to the Arctic land of Russia, to even the suburbs in the US. Each one is created vividly and is easily to be considered as one of the best looking games on the market today. Not to mention that the soldiers on the battlefield move very fluidly and don't feel like robots. They're not robots for when you move personally or to view on screen. The narrative for Modern Warfare 2 is great and very compelling, and easily 10 times more shocking than the first Modern Warfare, especially with the no Russian level. However, it feels more tacked on for those of us that buy Modern Warfare, not just for the multiplayer. For example, the original Call of Duty was perfect. It had a great story arc and told the stories of three different soldiers in World War II in an excellent and unique way. Even in the first Modern Warfare, you had two characters that were special in their own special way. In Modern Warfare 2, you had one too many characters to follow and the story jumped way too quickly. It tried to have four different stories in one short narrative that basically just left the player physically and mentally wanting more. It's like the TV series Lost. It tells too many stories and at, at the end of it leaves you with more questions than answers. I'm not saying that the Modern Warfare 2 story is bad, but it feels like they rushed through it just so they can get out the multiplayer. The gameplay from Modern Warfare 2 isn't very unique. Since it's basically a run and gun style, a lot of many games have done it before. However, it's nicely done in this version and it's very fluid. The story feels real and compelling and the multiplayer just added on more great items to an already great game. The new game mode Spec Ops is a nice change in the COD franchise. It doesn't feel tacked on, but instead incorporated into the game and is not probably something that will be done in every version of Infinity War developed Call of Duty games since it had and still has success. The reason I have to give this game a low score with the gameplay is the bugs. The multiplayer part of Modern Warfare 2 is a huge reason why many people bought it. In fact, some people have played it every single day since Modern Warfare 2's release and they haven't even touched the other aspects like Spec Ops or the single player. But the bugs in Modern Warfare basically made it unplayable. If it wasn't the care package glitch, it was the javelin glitch. 
If it wasn't the javelin glitch, it was the private match glitch. All these exploits and glitches could have probably been avoided if a beta was implemented. This would have given developers more time to find stuff, and would have given players to exploit the maps and see if there was anything wrong. But because there wasn't a beta, many glitches were left unfixed and were soon discovered by players after release. Overall, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is a great game to add to anybody's collection. The concept is terrific, the graphics are awesome, the narrative isn't that great but it is still passable, and with that comes Spec Ops and Multiplayer which are just fantastic. And even though the game was virtually unplayable for the first few weeks after release, the Infinity War developers have taken their time and effort and f have fixed the game. And although there are still some exploits, there are hundreds of thousands of players on each and every day on multiplayer, which is great for having fun or for competition. And that's it for my Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 review. I hope you like my review and I hope you guys will come and see the next one, which is coming out in two weeks from now.